our brothers because this is what it's all about. Yeah. It's all about us being here together. A hundred years of what made Highland special. Woo! hundred years. What made Highland special to me and the way I got member, became member of this wonderful fraternity is that I came in and I sat next to Steve Brophy who was the Archon. And Steve Brophy told me something that is here in my mind to this day. Your fraternity brothers will be the groomsmen at your wedding. Yep. And they will be the pallbearers at your funeral. Yep. Thank you. And we lost Steve Brophy two years ago. And unfortunately, although he's in chapter of trial, because of situations, he did not get the opportunity to be his pallbearer there in person. We were there in spirit. And we followed in the footsteps of men who are now part of chapter of who made this fraternity great, Bert Portuguese, Harvey Masonic, Harry Hamovich. These are the people who in whose footsteps yeah. we have followed and all the countless other people that I have forgotten. What makes Pylam special? I'm going to tell you one story that makes it all important to me. And it is one of our brothers, Blaine Araya. Now, Blaine Araya was part of our chapter. He got into a little bit of trouble at one point. He crashed his car, and he took off, and nobody could find him. And his parents called us up and said, we need help. We can't find Blaine. And so this fraternity, 30 of the brothers, stopped what they were doing, got in the car, and drove to Fresno, where he was, to try to find him. We canvassed Fresno for two days. We couldn't find him. We decided to come back. We got to leave. He's used his credit card up in Reno. Well, yeah, okay, we can go to Reno, too. <laughs> 30 brothers went up to Reno. We went up to Reno with a whole bunch of pieces of paper. And the pieces of paper said, one thing, Blaine, call Pine Lab. That's all we did. And we took those pieces of paper and we put them on every casino in Reno. And there's this one really, really funny story about Blaine. Is that we were going around one casino, I think it was the Calneva, and as we went around, we put them on, and we came around the other corner, and they were gone. We couldn't figure out why, so we kept putting them up. We thought maybe security has them. Well, as it turns out, Blaine was on the other side, moving around, picking up the pieces of paper, saying, <laughs> Paul Island. Now, eventually, he did call. We did get him back home safe, and his parents were very grateful. But his parents yeah. knew who to call. He called his Pylam brothers. Yeah. Because that's what makes Pi Lamb special. That feeling of brotherhood, of camaraderie, that has bound us, that has ensured that this fraternity has never closed. One of the very few fraternities on the Berkeley campus that has never closed, never ran against this charter, never gave up. Because these principles matter. And they matter to each and every one of us in this room. Not 40 years, but a lifetime. Yes, absolutely true. And it is this future of these actors. So, yeah. We're going to be here in 50 years. Grabbing the mic, drinking the booze, and celebrating the next 100 years Woo! of High Lamb. Yeah. yeah. That's right, man. And I want to tell you who made it possible, who made it possible when we were on the verge of death. I have to thank a number of people very specifically. I have to thank people that helped us, support us financially. Rich Masson, who is here. Scott Rechoff, who is here. Eric Brewer, who is unbelievably generous. Yeah! And all the other countless people who donated that I'm going to forget because I can't go through all of their names. David Carrillo, who unfortunately was not able to join us, and he was the person who was with me in the house who moved back in who made sure that we could get the people. But at the end of the day, the person and the people who made it happen was that alpha class who took a chance. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Who believed in us. Back, bro. Back, bro. Might talk about that belief a little. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. But took a chance on us, and it's that alpha class. But before I introduce the president of that alpha class, Max Brown, I just want to say one thing and the reason that I am so happy today. Is that although we have lost so many of our brothers to chapter eternal, this is the first time that I have worn this pin without a piece of black tape on it. Yeah. In maybe 20 or 30 years. And nothing makes me happier than that to share it all with you. So thank you all so much. And with that, the president of the Alpha Chapter, your next speaker. <laughs>